Hello oh, YouTube, being from the bedroom. Yeah, you're a guitar junkie with this. So let's just um, let's give it some different. Let's just I'll just play a couple of different things. I'm not gonna put a backing track on because I don't have any new backing tracks, and you've probably heard them over and over and over again. So yeah, dirty on the amp. Stack with the boost. <laughs> Let's see what we have here.
I'm, I'm getting caught up in, in the sound of this guitar. I'm just, like, when I'm... This is the first time I ever got a guitar that's got 9-gauge strings on it. These almost feel like 8-gauge because I've been stuck playing with all the um, other guitars with 10-gauge. That when I do pick one up with 9, I feel like I'm, I'm, I might, like I'm not handling the string correctly. I feel like I'm going to snap it, like you will bend it right off the neck and snap it off the guitar. But even like... Probably you don't know the difference there, but... And I'm right next to the amp. I mean, these pickups, they're amazing. They're amazing. Um... So yeah, I just, I wasn't even paying attention to what I was doing. I was just, I was just like hitting something and just listening to it and like saying to myself, what a sound coming out of this, that sound that my tone is set on the amp. That's exactly the way I like it. Um, it may be compressed a little bit on the YouTube um, when it's published, but it's, it's at 70s kind of bright drive um distorted drive crunchy drive i should say not thick if it sounds thick and metally that's not what, how it sounds in the room but these pickups and I, I, I hit a chord and i hear it and i hear it ringing out and i still hear how can i explain it the drive and the crunch doesn't dissipate as fast as it would with another guitar. When I'm hitting it, I've got it here. It's, it's slowly going away, but it's not dropping down. If I am explaining it properly. You know what I mean? As, as if you still hear the sound, but you're walking away from it. Except, it, it. Instead of the sound being turned down and it just goes like that. It, it sounds like it's getting farther away instead of dropping down, if that makes sense. So, let me just show you while I'm plugged in. So this here has the outer phase. So you get that greeny more. That's why I did it a couple of times and then with the pedal. So that's that with a chorus. If I hit the right chord. <laughs> So then you've got, on the neck, you've got coil splitting. Yeah, coil splitting. Yeah. I guess you always get one out of the, the batch that's hard to pull. say to yourself okay that's it no but wait there's more this little puppy here watch what this thing does a boost now let's hear it the over with a boost a dirty boost yeah let's hear it with drive Yeah, let's hear it with crunch. Wow. Let's hear it with my, my distortion, my, my crunch channel. It's 
Hear more of the delay. You get like one extra beat, one extra repeat on there. Because it just, it's insane. It's crazy. See, my hands are slipping right off the nine gauge now. So, yeah, that's what's in the electronics. So, oh man, I'm sorry. I forgot to do that. I'm so used, I, can't, I keep on forgetting I don't have a dead chord. So, what we have here is a 2018 Traditional Pro 3 Plus. There it is on, in all its glory. Um, from front to back, you have the Indian Laurel fingerboard. You've got um, pearlized trapezoid inlays. 22 nickel frets with binding around the neck and body. You've got a tiger maple veneer top. I went through the knobs. They've got the vintage knobs on here. You know that I hate these. Well, so, well if you grab it by the top, it's got a little um, edge around it, like a ridge where it, where it pulls up better. So I think I may just, even though I already ordered <laughs> a pair of knobs, that will kind of offset the color if I am going to use it. Because I think, I, if anything, I would like the out of phase and that boost just to play with it because it's a new toy. I might not really use it a whole hell of a lot, but just that it's something new, you know, kind of thing. So veneer top, um, you've got real deal proper Gibson pickups in here. These are your 57 Zebra. So you have the 57 Gibson pick, pickup. That's not a, a Pro Bucker, Humbucker, Mother Trucker, you know, what's in all the Epiphone. And then you've got a 57 Gibson um, Plus. So, and these pickups, I mean, just the price of the pickups. And I, as, as if I just bought the pickups and got the guitar for free. That's how I'm looking at it. Um, I don't see this guitar because I was ready <laughs> to like return it. Um, I was, I was a little apprehensive about it when I saw it. Um, there's another one that I wanted to get and I got this one instead and I may still get that other one, but I was like, yeah, let me, what the hell? Let me just say, you know, there's only maybe one or two videos on this guitar with this, um, seafoam green color to it. Uh, but yeah, man, it's, a, it's, if you just, if I put tape over that, <laughs> you know, you, you could, this thing, this thing would be better, in my opinion, again, than a, a USA Gibson. So, you know, pickups, electronics, I could do with or without, really. Uh, it was, it came to me, I had um, purchased it, and they, uh, they shipped it out, and I had it within two days of when they shipped it out. Um, so yeah, that's the front cream colored everything with the, uh, pick guard and the pickup rings and the poker chip and the little, uh, you know, screw on cap there in the front to match pretty much the, the binding going all the way around it. You get to the back, you've got satin, a satin finish, real deal, proper Grover tune is on there. That's where it says 2018 right there. Okay, now what I don't see is I don't see wings glued to the side. I don't see a seam for that. I don't see a seam uh, for the scarf joint where the headstock is glued to the neck. 
I don't see a spacer where the neck is in with the body. And as much as I try, I don't see that. I don't see a seam or anything different. I don't see any seams in the back. So it's solid mahogany set neck and body. They match the cream colored border to the back. Um, so both cavities are not um, shielded. They don't have shielding on the covers as well. The electronics are click, the click in, the quick clip. I did have this off. I did make a video when I first got it, but I forgot a lot about the guitar. I forgot what kind of fingerboard it had on it and I forgot what kind of pickups it had in it. So I thought to myself, self, you gotta give more information because people bitch and moan if if I if I just mispronounce something or misspeak, because that's just me. I can't help it. But you know, or my playing. But I see other guys doing videos on 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 their guitars, and it's like maybe this is the they they just started out playing, and I'm like, oh man, that's 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 far from good. But I don't leave a comment saying, dude, you're playing the, the wrong key, you know, you're playing, uh, you, you know, you're out of tune, uh, or you don't know, you know, you, you're sloppy. I don't say anything like that, because I was that person one day. And I, when I look at their comments, unless they're deleting them, I don't see anyone ripping them apart, like I get ripped apart. So I get, that's why I get kind of foul at times. This little thing here is the worst part of the whole guitar. This is where the nine volt battery is um, hiding out installed for the boost. What I rather have done, uh, um, Epiphone Gibson um, did, was put this here, put this inside of here, somewhere where you know you open it up and you replace the battery. If not, Put a sticker on here saying the battery is in there and you just got to remove four screws you know um this is the only thing that i have to say kind of irritates me it's a little that much but it does here's your jack it's uh i guess it's weight relieved or reduced it's it's it still feels like a good seven pounds but it doesn't feel compared to my Epiphone Core or any of my Agiles. It's lighter than that, but it doesn't feel light enough where it feels like a, a cheap, crappy guitar. So, yeah. I don't know what more to say about it. It's just, uh, I love the color. A lot of people don't. I happen to like this. It reminds me of Florida, the Florida colors. And even if I didn't like the color, these pickups are just insane. I wonder how much these sell for, if you could even buy the set, the 57 and the 57 plus, if you could just buy it. Because much like how I, I say how great the Tesla pickups sound and how much the um, humbuckers on the Agile sound, these here, this is like DEFCON 4. You know, this is like another level completely. So I would love to have these. Either one of those three sets of pickups I mentioned. But I would love to have these in all of my guitars. The only thing that, that kind of <laughs> is a little, like, a little black thing right here. I can't move my right arm. That's sticking up. See that little, my, my white strap behind it right there? It's a little black like wire coming straight up out of the pickup, which I guess I'm going to have to push that down. So right out of the box, it was in tune. Intonation is, is in, in tune. I, nothing I had to do to it. So 
totally surprised Epiphone traditional three pro Epiphone traditional pro three plus there's a big difference between the plus and the non plus the non plus you don't get Gibson 57 pickups you get Epiphone pickups I think the the whatever they are I, st I never get the name right pro buck is something like that um that's the only difference along with i guess maybe the electronics but still i would have to say pound for pound for an epiphone guitar out of the ones that i have this has to be fit finish um playability sound everything i'd have to say this is the best guitar you can get and I really, I really hate to tell you what I paid for it because, as usual, Guitar Center um, had this mislabeled. So I got this thing dirt cheap. You could, you could, you know, you could, if you want to leave in the comments, a uh, dollar amount, which you think I paid for it. But I don't want to boast about it because I got it that cheap. And it's just an amazing guitar. So put black tape over the headstock if you if you have to have Gibson, <laughs> you know, if that's going to bother you. But for an Epiphone, I have to say this is one of the best that they made in 2018. Or maybe this is one out of 100 that my friends claim left the warehouse that day. Who knows? But thanks for watching. Um, oh, hey, can you name every song that I played? There's about 20 there, I think. So, anywho, have a good day and a better tomorrow.